what's up guys i got one for you tonight we're going out gigging specifically for sheep's head i'm on the west coast of florida i got my buddy captain Vinny. what's your uh youtube it's uh florida aquaman florida aquaman i'll put that right here and we're on another one of his buddies captain hooks uh outdoors charters i'll put all this information in the description but that sun's going down we're idling out the canal and we're gonna put the smack down on some sheep's head tonight y'all stand by yeah. <laughs> all right guys now before we get out there I'll, before we lose the light i'm gonna show you this boat a little bit he's got this thing it's an old hurricane deck boat that's been completely redone it's got the elevated he's got the power poles and he's got the big bright lights so it's it's got big huge comfortable deck you get three four people up here um set well, six it's set up for bow fishing and gigging whatever you want to do uh this thing's cadillac y'all Here we go, folks. So Vinny has challenged all of us to a competition of who sticks the most fish unofficially. And he kind of worried me because he looks at me and goes, you know they move here, right? <laughs> I'm used to gigging flounder. They sit on the bottom and it's it's really pretty easy. Uh, so up. Oh, I'm up. Oh, on. we got a moment on. <laughs> Captain Vinny is on the board just like that. I didn't mention, we're also gigging mullet tonight. We're gigging drum, whatever's legal, we're going for. And you guys know from some of my other videos, I'll definitely eat some mullet. Smoked one. Smoked them. Another nice Get mullet. You some. This might be turning in right, to a mullet one. video, y'all. We're two mullets in. We only been here for like three minutes. I, I've tried to gig like six of them. Yeah, and then he shoots one with a bow though. <laughs> I'm like, I feel really, uh, really inefficient. Got him. Fifth time's the charm. There we go. I've been trying to get me a mullet for a minute here. So what we're doing out here. We're just easing along on the trolling motor. We got a little bit of a mangrove bank right there. And there's also some oysters and stuff that we're hitting. So we just pulled up this spot. You guys, check out how clear that water is here. And I hope you guys can see that redfish right there. Right here on this oyster bar. You see his blue tail and everything. Look, there's a big one right there. This spot's loaded up. There's another one. It's like an aquarium full of redfish out here. Holy cow. I probably see 20 redfish right now. It's insane. Generally, when you see them on the sandy patches, all over. All it's, over, it doesn't really yeah. matter. Some kind of structure, something that cool. Yeah, sometimes it could just be a little divot in the sand. You don't even realize. Yep. Nice! On video. Vinny, Captain Vinny, showing us how it's done. <laughs> so we just made a little spot change. Vinny already sees one. Turn the camera off, we're gonna get some fish. We're in the current now, folks. Sheep's Head Creek. On him. Oh! Look at that black drum, baby. Nice, nice. man black drum on the bow dude right in the eyeball right too the eyeball. nice work man thank you thank you thank you got him another little drum nice that's my first drum ever on a gig and i've gigged a lot we're in the back creek now y'all Change the name, it's Black Drum Creek. Right there, he's right there. Did I screw that up? I got him. Little 
little sheepy. He's trying to make it to the grove. I thought he was gone. Go ahead. We had to gig him three times, folks. But we got him. Another black drum in the box. I don't want to dump that. We already got a halfway decent looking box right now, folks. We got some mullet, we got some black drum, we got some sheep's head. We ain't even been out here that long. The trick is have a good captain. Vinny got one while I was slipping. Black oh. drum. Nice. They gotta be one on this tree right here. Ah, got him. We both got him! <laughs> we, they doubled up on this black drum, folks. <laughs> he shot it with the bow and Vinny gigged it. But just in case Vinny, you know, missed. They, I knew they, he wasn't gonna miss. They were both doubting each other. Yeah, but the headshot is only counts, you know? Fish is in the boat, that's what counts. Dude, we're killing the black drum tonight. Check out all the room for activities in the front of this boat right here. You could easily have a ton of guys up here. Oh yeah, I see them. We got a sheep's head under a square grouper. Yeah, got him. I stoned him. Look at that. Nice one right there. Nice little box. This has turned into a mullet, black drum, and sheep's head video. Nice. Big old sheep's head. Up here yakking about turkey hunting. Vinny's over there doing work. Tearing them up. <laughs> How clear this is. We got a cooler full y'all adds up quick that's a drum oh yeah oh big dog right in the dome look at that nice stoned him Big black drum. What you got there, bud? Nice little mullet. Moletto. That's a good one right there. <laughs> this is extremely rare, folks. For this area, there's not really a lot of flounder. We just saw a really nice one. Vinny's gonna stick it. I'm gonna try not to spook it. He was up there in that cut. Yeah, it's coming slow. West Coast Flounder. You don't see very many out here, huh? Not at all, no. Not legal ones for sure. Yep. Definitely not. That doesn't sound good. Got him. Nice. Over the rail. And in the pail. Nice job. That is a heck of a box. So one spooked off, and I'm like, oh, I missed that fish. But 
I pulled the gig up out of the water. I got a sheep's head on it. Oh, you had a photo on it. Oh, that was that was the rock that had three of them on it then that we were looking for. Ah, look at that though. That is a pile of fish there, folks. Got him. On the fish. This little spot's been real good to us. If we had... If we had See, that's what? Two fish in less than 30 seconds? Yeah, except we missed four. We should be like right here. that's even the one that's a pretty good one that's a nice one right there get off of her Shoo. little puppy drum That one right there, that big one, get it. One in the back. Nice. On the drum. guys so we're calling it a night now it's maybe I don't even think it's 11 yet and we've got a cooler just slap full of fish and uh, for all you folks that are counting fish out here these guys are both commercial or commercial gigging tonight so they're gonna sell some of these fish I'll take some home to eat but uh absolute epic night both these guys do this as charter captains as well I'm gonna put Vinny's stuff in and I uh, already gave you mics and uh, it'll all be in the description. You know you got a lot of fish when you need a shovel to get it out of the box. We cleaned up. And once again, I gotta thank these guys so much. I'm gonna put all their information in the description of this video, uh, look them up. Go follow uh, Vinny's channel and uh, I think I'm gonna drive home tonight because I gotta be home tomorrow. So get me a energy drink, get on the road. All right guys, so we had an absolute blast night last night and I have to again thank Captain Mike and Captain Vinny for taking me out. Um, they both run charters doing that. And I know I said it before, but it'll be in the description. And Vinny has a new uh, YouTube that he's trying to get off the ground so if you go give go give him a follow uh, I'll put his title right here but let's clean these fish um, they kept some of the fish like I said they sell some fish but I kept these four for dinner here Two, these are perfect eating size drum right here nice little eater drum and nice sheep's head so I'm gonna do like a mix and match Got my toadfish folder. This is my favorite, really. Um, and these things, they got big old scales on them. But so I kind of come into the scales like that instead of cutting through the scales. Take tip your knife, trace it right down his back like that. Come all the way down, out and through. And then I take the tip of my finger like that 
get it in there and you just feel that fish's skeleton just like that and these fish have been iced well so they're gonna clean easier it's almost better go ahead ice a fish overnight just like that come down for the other side up through those pin bones then down that rib cage and they got a big old rib cage on them once you get through there it's like that you got a nice filet o drum look at those scales on there though that'll dull your knife up every time come down and out now they these fish do have some red on the skin so i'm kind of floating the knife i'm not pushing down as hard on the knife as i do on some fish pulling on the skin just like that and i left this red on the skin and not in the fillet we'll come in just trim out all that red you don't want any of that red on any fish it's gonna be not great so now on the fresher fish you could eat it but that's that I'll go ahead and do a, a sheep's head for you guys too these sheep's head are tricky so same thing come in like that and they got a good little bit of head meat don't miss that head meat come like this chase trace his back out tip of the knife you got those big old oh, big old fins on these things and same thing these fish have a big uh, rib cage so when you come up angle your knife up pop the pin bones then come down that rib cage like this and you got a sheep's head fillet there Look how pretty white that sheep's head is. Um, I do plan on putting a little bit of Old Bay on it tonight and kind of make a play on. Now, see, I pushed hard on that and I left a lot of red. I should have floated that knife more, but it'll be good because that fish is less than 24 hours out of the water. I'm hungry. Let's go upstairs and eat. You didn't finish what you were saying. What was I saying? The fins. Something oh. about Old Bay. Oh. And then you got distracted by the red on the meat. And yeah, because I realized I messed sentence. up. <laughs> I'm going to use the Old Bay on the fish tonight as a play. A sheep's head often has a crabby type flavor because of all the crustaceans that they eat. Gotcha. So I'm going to use Old Bay to kind of play off of that. Uh, the black drum also has a bit of a nutty flavor. Um, but it's gonna be delicious, I promise y'all. All right guys, well, we did cook dinner uh, the night I cleaned those fish, but I didn't film it. We're having a family night and I just didn't feel like filming that night. Uh, we did make something delicious with some lemon cream sauce, uh, but I thought I'd bring some fish out here back to the tug and cook it on here for you. Little did I know I messed up, it's like, eight to ten right now dark out and uh we're rolling we're taking it on the beam but i'm gonna do my best put together a little late night fish sandwich for you guys got my little vacuum sealed pack of sheep and drum i've got some dukes mayonnaise some butter uh some potato rolls i've got old bay some cheese and a pan i'm heating up see this rack on here this is what we use when the weather is rough out here so that the pan doesn't slide off. And I'm literally having to lean just to hold on right now uh, and not fall over. First off here, I'm gonna go ahead and butter up my bun. We're gonna toast this off in that hot skillet. So, butter on both sides there. Like so. Oh man. <laughs> Not imagine it's rough out here. Here we go. Trick to these pans is get them hot. Put that in there and we'll just go ahead and toast that. I'm kind of going for 
maybe a play on a lobster roll or something like that. Just like nice buttery toasted uh, bun. Do the fish in some Old Bay and uh, we'll put a little cheese on there so that kind of breaks away from the, the lobster roll thought. Let's see here. Yeah, that's looking good. Get her toasted up nice and good. Pull these out. Start working on my fish here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out any kind of bloodline that's left over. This fish was frozen. Uh, it's about, I don't know, I went gigging with Vinny about two weeks ago now. So, just to give you a frame of reference, cut that bloodline out like that. Just like any fish, I'm going to take a lime right here and I'm just going to squeeze it all over this fish right now. Go ahead, get a good amount of juice on there. Like that. And toss to coat those fillets. Wipe our hands off, come in here, and we'll get the old bay. This is about, I'd say 50% drum, 50% sheep's head, so we get a little bit of best of both worlds here. Got my pan smoking hot there. Flip her over. Bay again. Oh man, <laughs> it's tough cooking in rough weather, folks. We're gonna come over here. We got pan smoking, a little bit of olive oil, or not olive oil, this is avocado oil. And the trick to keeping fish from sticking in a stainless pan like this. Go ahead and already have it rip it hot. Then put your oil in. Go in with our fish pieces. Oh, that smells good already. Ooh, burn it. Ah. This is uh, not how I plan to cook going, but it is what it is. Now I'm going to cook this fish about almost 80% of the way on one side. Let's see, while that's going, I am going to go ahead and just hit these buns with a little bit of mayonnaise, because why not? Makes everything a little better. I would make uh, tartar sauce normally, but I... It's rough. I'm just struggling to put this together right now, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> All right, fish is just about there. Ah, darn it. Everything's flying everywhere. Come in, flip those fish pieces, and now you can see because I let it cook and I, I put it in a hot pan, the fish did not stick. That is the key to these stainless pans like this. Well, I'm going to take the other half of that lime I had and squeeze that in there like that. And I'm going to hit it with some good butter in there. Let that melt down. Go ahead and plate this up. See what we got here. Come in. Oh man. Some nice pieces of fish. Lots of fish on this sandwich because I really want to eat fish and not bread. Like so. Then I'm gonna finish it. Oh man. <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life, folks. Put a little bit of shredded cheese on there. 
go ahead. Put, well, I got it upside down. Flip her over. That's a fish sandwich right there, folks. Late night meal fit for a king. Or a tugboater. All right. There it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> but this is better than uh, what I normally would have ate. It's probably some sort of junk food or something that I didn't have to cook. But I wanted to cook for you guys. So let's get into it right here. Mm. That's about as good as it gets. Them. You know that drum in the sheep's head has a really crabby flavor and the butter and the whole bay just sets it off. You know, cheese makes everything better on the butter toasted potato roll. Uh, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of my meal. That's going to be the end for this video, but I want to thank you guys. We hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday. And that's amazing. Every single one of you who've ever watched or commented or shared or done anything to help me out, thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one.